Now let's make an exercise with Illustrator consisting on drawing a palm tree using basically art brushes, scatter brushes, and some transformations. First, we are going to draw the trunk starting with a very basic shape. For that sake, we are going to select first of all the polygon tool. With the polygon tool, we are going to click once so we can choose the number of sides of the polygon. That's going to be three because we are interested now to draw a triangle. Let's bring some color to this triangle. Let's uh, paint it a little bit brownish as the field color, as this is going to be the building block of the palm tree trunk we are going to draw. Now let's reshape a little bit this triangle by using the direct selection tool and move this corner point up to this position and let's convert it then to a smooth corner point this way and using the option key we are going to reshape what was the initial triangle into this new shape now we are interested on mirror a copy of this shape we can do that by several means but we can choose now object menu then transform and then choose reflect we're interested first of all to activate the preview so we're going to see what it's going to be and finally we are going to choose the vertical axis and just click on copy now let's move this copy a little bit to the right so we can get finally this basic shape that we're interested now to be just one single piece so let's just group it together using the command G shortcut so now let's zoom out a little bit and now we're interested just in making the whole palm tree trunk based on this object next we're going to build the rest of the trunk based upon this object by using transformations so we are going to select the group object and then go to effect menu then to distort and transform and then finally to the transform option this tool will allow us to make as many copies as wanted with the transformations that are required but first of all let's uh, check the preview checkbox so we can see live what's happening basically now we're interested to move this object upward so inside the move dial we're going to move it vertically upward that means a negative value and this is going to be a copy so this copy will be scaled down by 10% so basically we want the copy to be a 90% in scale and finally we want to make up to six copies so this is what we are going to get so let's click on OK of course this is just a proposal you can change your mind in the future and just uh, reshape the building block we draw in the beginning and any kind of transformations that you do to this building block is going to be transmitted of course to any of the copies also you have to keep in mind that at any point in the future you can go straight to window and then open the appearance panel where you can see that with this object selected there is a transform effect that is applied that we can switch on and off so all of the effects that you apply to any object in Illustrator you can switch them on and off at any time not just that you can also just click on the transform link and you can edit this effect again let's preview it again and let's do some changes like instead of six copies we can make up to nine for instance and we can reshape them in a way that the scale down is not just 10% but 5% by adjusting the scale not to 90 but to 95% so we get a slightly different design of the trunk just click on OK and finally we can keep playing with that until we get exactly the design we want that remember is just an effect 
So we just have one single object with one effect that we can switch on and off. Okay, so we are done with the trunk by now, and let's start drawing the branches by drawing, first of all, the leaves of the branch. We are going to start, for that sake, as usual, with very basic shape, that in this case is going to be an ellipse. But first of all, of course, we are going to color it with a greenish fill color. And then with the Direct Selection tool, look like we are going to select these two points and we are going to remove them. So we have a shape that is more suitable to be a leaf. By finally using the Option key, we can reshape a little bit so it looks more like a palm tree leaf. You don't have to mind by now about the scale because we can scale it down, of course, at any time. And this is exactly what we are going to make now. Just make this leaf a little bit smaller. And keep proportions. And finally, we are going to convert this leaf into a brush. We can do so by expanding the brushes panel. And we can click and drag this object up to the brushes panel. And then, from all of the different types of brushes, this time we're going to select the scatter brush. So let's click on OK. Then here in the scatter brush option, first of all, let's name it. Like uh, this is going to be half a leaf. So let's name it as half leaf. OK. So by now let's keep these parameters as is because we can enter any time to this brush and change them afterwards. So let's click on OK. And let's see how it's look uh, applied to one single straight line. So let's select this tool, let's draw a single horizontal straight line. And let's just uh, click on our new half leaf brush. So this is what we get. Of course, this is still far from looking like a palm tree branch, but then we can just double click on the brush we just created in the brushes panel and we can just uh, move the different parameters so we're going to make it look like first let's uh, move backwards the spacing parameter so we can see that we get many leaves as we are just moving down the spacing until we get maybe this point but then this looks so regular so let's uh, change the rotation from fixed to random. And let's randomize them a little bit, just moving these two parameters. So it looks like more uh, like a real palm tree branch. So now let's click on OK as soon as we are done with these new parameter values. And this is just an excuse to have uh, uh, half of the branch. So keep in mind that this is just a straight line and you can see this better if we go to the view menu and select the outline view. We have no a bunch of leaves, we have just a straight line with a kind of a special effect above. So let's come back to preview and like any other time we have in Illustrator a single simple object with an effect applied to it. We can go to object menu and then select expand appearance. So now we really get a real bunch of leaves that we can work with. And this is just what we want. Basically, this is a set of grouped objects. And now we are going to make the other half of the leaf. Or better say, the other half of the branch. So first of all, let me make it a little bit smaller and just rotate it about 90 degrees. It's going to be more comfortable to work with. And before we make uh, just a mirrored copy of this object, let's make another slight transformation by using the tool of shear. So uh, with the shear tool, we just uh, click in a point a little bit outside of the object and then drag a little bit. So we get this effect we are looking for that all of the leaves of our branch 
they are a little bit sheared forward. If we want to do it furthermore, we can select again the shear tool and maybe click in a further point and just drag a little bit more. So we get this clearly sheared object. And then we can correct also a little bit with another rotation. And now we are ready just to make a reflected copy of it. For that sake, we can use the reflection tool that is inside the rotate tool, and we can click on the first and second point that is going to define the mirroring axis. If we do so, but using the option key with a second click, we get a copy. So this now looks more like a real palm tree branch. Next, we are going to just join these two pieces together by select them and with the command G, let's make a new group. Afterwards, let's make it a little bit smaller and then finally, let's convert this first branch into an art brush. You can do so, as usual, by just select this whole object and drag it over the brushes panel. But remember, this time, we're interested to make an art brush. So let's click on that option and then click on OK. This branch has to grow in the right direction, that is, from the bottom to the top, so let's click in this right direction inside the dialog box of the art brush options and finally if you wish you can type a name for it so when done let's click on OK again and now initially we are ready to start drawing the real branches of our palm tree we no longer need this template branch anymore so let's put it aside and now we are ready to start drawing the real branches of our palm tree we can use, for instance, the pencil or the pen or whatever. So we can draw one. Then we can draw another one. And we can select different strokes at the same time. That Then we can click once in our new art brush. Then we can see our new palm tree branches. You don't have to worry if at this point your branches doesn't look like you want. Because remember, we are working with strokes, so we can select this couple of strokes and we can go, for instance, to the stroke weight and adjust them a little bit narrow so we can get more realistic uh, branches, uh, but also we can just work or play with the non-uniform different profiles so we can select this first with profile and we can get even more realistic uh, shapes just uh, working with the uh, regular strokes. Remember, again, if we go to the view outline option, this is just a couple of strokes. But with the different R brushes and the different scatter brushes and everything that we are used, we just get this effect. So let's complete this first palm tree by drawing just another couple, sorry, <laughs> another couple of strokes. Let's apply again the same R brush. Again, let's retouch a little bit the stroke weight and also the profile. So finally, we get our first palm tree that let's retouch a little bit also what's going to be the trunk. Finally, we get this first palm tree. Now, as a final remark, uh, what's going to happen if we select the whole tree and we drag it over the brushes panel once again? So let's make a new art brush of the whole tree and it's going to see what's going to happen. So let's click on OK. Now this time this is going to be named after palm tree and uh, this is going to be an art brush that is going to grow from bottom to the top. So let's click on the right direction. And this time we're going to introduce a new change. That is the brush scale options. 
that now it's going to be stretched only between guides. When we select this option, we get these two dashed lines that represent the two guides where we're going to delimite which portion of this object is going to be reshaped with the stroke and which other one is going to remain the same. In this case, we are indicating that only the trunk is going to be distorted by the stroke, but not just the branches. But let's try it. Let's click on OK. Let's put this drawing a little bit far away. And finally, again with the pencil, let's draw, for instance, this curve, this stroke. And this time we are going to apply not the branch art brush, but the whole tree. So we get this. Basically, the cap of the tree remains the same as the original template, but we are going to deform only the trunk. We can repeat the exercise. Let's make uh, some kind of simple stroke with the pen tool. And once again, let's click on the palm tree art brush. So we get this. So as a summary, uh, we could draw just now a whole palm tree forest and we are starting just with a triangle, an ellipse, and a couple of art brushes and some basic transformations.